This is going to be a mini general collective tarot and oracle reading if it's meant for you. It's meant for you. Okay, the current energy today is the hermit, Virgo energy. This is all about searching your soul and, of course, clearly deciding what you want. So let's see what the oracle... Oh, I thought that card was going to pop over. You might be having a headache. Okay, here's the thing. Be careful that you're not overthinking something to the point of exhaustion. At a certain moment, you're going to have to let go and surrender and see what happens. You can't overthink forever, okay? Things do need to shift and let go, let God, and see what unfolds. Now, the potential or challenge here is the Five of Cups. Five of Cups is a card of sadness. It could be disappointment. It could even be grief. So what are you sad about? Or what's the disappointment or the possible disappointment here? What is the worst case scenario? Look. The potential here is a beautiful brand new beginning. The question is, are you open to it? Now, this card can also indicate that someone is being stubborn. And oftentimes that stubbornness gets in the way of the shift or the change where we say, no, no, this can't be, I can't have this or nothing ever works out for me. And if you have that mindset and you're fighting the shift, you're gonna continue to have more of that energy. So let's see what we need to focus on today. We have the Six of Swords. Don't you just want peace? Calmer waters, peace, leave the turbulence behind. I mean, look, if you ask me, that is the number one thing people want. They just don't always know how to achieve it, how to let go, you know, and to stop fighting, so to speak. So there's the checkered flag. It's time to surrender. It's time to say, look, the race is complete or the task is complete. Now it's time to move on to the next round or the next race or whatever way you wanna look at it. So the recent past, we have the Knight of Cups. Okay, this is about offering a cup of love. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> maybe that was maybe that was like some sort of like sign for you that offering a cup of love is the way to go or that somebody's offering you a cup of love. Um, but let's see. What else do we need to know from the Oracle deck here? The crew, yeah, coming together, being in sync with each other, um, co-creating. That's really beautiful. So I think the recent past there has been the spark to co-create. Now the strength position here is the Ten of Wands, mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally exhausted. The only way to move to the next round is to sort of hit that low, right? There's the incentive of that Knight of Cups that says, oh my goodness, I can have this. Can I really have this? And this is where you say, I'm not going to get in the way anymore. I'm really going to let myself hit that low so that I can accept it and move on. And that's why we have to get rid of the stubbornness that I was talking about earlier. So the Ten of Wands, mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally exhausted, Stop overanalyzing. This is what I mean about the overthinking, right? About the headache. We don't always have to be overthinking. Process it and then move forward. Now, the near future, we have the Two of Cups. See, that's what I mean. When you're open to actually having it, this is when it comes in. When you stop fighting yourself and fighting the situations, you can have this Two of Cups, okay? So let's see what we need to know. You got to make a decision that you want it. That's really what it comes down to. How badly do you want it? And we can't use the past as an indicator of the future. I know in some cases we can, I guess you could say, but think about it this way. Just because you've been hurt in the past does not mean you're going to be hurt in the future. One person is not like another. Just because your ex was a certain way doesn't mean your new person is going to be the exact same way. And if they are the same way, then that means you're picking people who have the same issues. If they're emotionally unavailable, then you're picking emotionally unavailable people. So just a little food for thought there. You have to clearly decide what you want and what you're willing to accept and what you're not willing to accept. Now, your suggested approach here is three of swords. You got to get out of this heartbreak. Whatever that past heartbreak was, it's in the past. Okay. That doesn't have to be your present and it certainly doesn't have to be your future. Now with that, we have the flamingos. See what I mean? This is what you want. You want love. You want romance. You want union. You want to feel that love connection. And I mean, again, if you really want it, then you've got to let go of all the things you've been battling in the past. Now, what do we need to know today? We have the two of pentacles. Look, what's at the top of your priority list? And I'm not here to tell you what you should or shouldn't do, because I always say don't should on anyone. But at the top of your list, are you there? Is it you at the top? Do you want this? You know, do you want to make your life better or change a situation? Nobody else should be above you on that list. So two pentacles says you need some balance. You need to figure out your priorities and tackle that list. Now with that, we have book burning. 
burning the narrative of the past, all the things that don't mean anything anymore, that old story. If you're still living in that old story, talking about that old story, you're manifesting more of it. Now your hope and or fear is the moon. Well, the moon is worry and anxiety. So there you go. There's your hope and or fear. It's not really a hope, but it's the idea that you're going to worry about having more of the same experiences. Just know that the summer is going to bring some growth. I really, truly believe that. Um, this card's been coming out a lot for me in my sessions. And this basically says within three to six months, you're going to see a shift. But again, the sun and the moon. I mean, I see the sun in this card, not that this is the sun card, but I see the sun here. And the sun is that masculine energy. It's what pushes you and drives you forward. And that's what you need to do right now. Essentially, if you want change, you got to make change. So let's see the probable outcome. I just said the sun, right? You can't make this up. Here comes the sun. The sun is the yes card. It's the happiest card in the deck. It means that you are moving forward, you're progressing, and you're making major change in your life. I just said change. Here's the thing. You have to make change in order to have change. Because if things are unchanged, what are you going to do about it? It's showtime. Curtain call. Time to get a move on and find your happiness.